Rock Raider, Mr. Sinister, Total Eclipse, Bob Swift, we got Diamond J, Johnny Cash, Sean C, Stevie D, Dr. Butcher. Uh. All right, so what I did was um pretty simple. This this is kind of the beginning stages of beat juggling, but. I just kind of started doing doubles, I do quadruples and triple ups or whatever. So, okay, this is what it starts with. See, the way the snares line, it allows you to fit other snares and kicks inside. So what I do is this. Looks difficult, but it's simple. It's all kind of just. It's, everything I do is really I rely on the marks. This is my mark right here for the kick. A separate mark for the snare, the beginning of the snares. And that's where it gets tricky because after that, this is the only one I follow for the beginning of the snares. After that, I follow this all around. So. Understand? So after I use this for the first snare right there, I kind of just follow this mark. And for the routine, it kind of I know that I'm ending off here to let it go. Two, three. It's all time, and it's all just knowing your marks and your timing. So, and then after that, I get into um, just flashy stuff. Like I'm known for doing like tricks and flashy stuff so what I do is I I'll do this I'll let the record go catch it spin it back same thing spin it back ah see then the mark see mark goes back here so it doesn't go back to this first one so it's one two three four five So that's what that's the main thing when you when you're learning how to beat juggle it's not just what you hear in a record it's about following your marks um my suggestion is when you're going to come up with routines and stuff is you come up with something realistic a lot of time people come up with routines that are really hard to pull off under the pressure so you got to think about if you're going to enter a battle and you got this difficult routine to pull off the chance that you pulling that routine off when you're nervous it's really small, so you got to pick something realistic. Uh, then what else do I do? I do a... Uh, uh See, this record, the snares are really close. So, my influence from Bruce Lee, or watching the game of death somehow influenced me to kind of just push the limits of how fast I could break down every snare. So I go, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Understand? It's it's uh, it's it's and I, I I only use one hand, so it's like holding my hand here so that it doesn't get in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that for that routine and.